our uh, our QB one, our uh, our starting quarterback Matthew Stafford, our our commander on offense, uh, spoke to the spoke to the media yesterday, and it would appear that he is locked in for this game, and I could not be happier. Let's get into it. Matthew Stafford on the approach to the Super Bowl, treated just like every other game. I am so happy to hear that. So happy to hear that. There is a lot of glam, a lot of blit, a lot of distractions, you know, a lot of people going to be going back and forth. Everyone's talking about you. It can be easy to get lost in that and not focus on the task at hand, which is what we need to do to for the rest for all next week we got to zero in on the Bengals and it would appear Matthew knows that and as uh, as he prepares for his first Super Bowl he is even keeled and um following the first 3 3 rounds you know in the playoff playoff uh playoff tournament he has played exceptional he has been exceptional this playoff run and uh i just i i don't see any other reason why he wouldn't continue to do so next sunday he is quoted here i think you treat it i think you treat it just like every other game when it gets to that day stafford said during a video conference with reporters on thursday you got a job you got a job to go out there and execute and try and lead your team to help us win. Once the ball is snapped, I mean, it's just going to be football. Settle into the game as quickly as you possibly can. Trust your eyes. Trust your teammates and go play. I think that's part of it. Once the ball is snapped, and hopefully going to be the part that's the easiest, to just eliminate all distractions and go out and play. That is the perfect mindset that he can have just go it's it's at the end of the day it's just another football game it's just another football game it really is just with a lot of a lot of noise that's all that's all it is it's just a football game with a lot of noise around it block out the noise you you zero in on your practice reps you zero in on your film sessions you zero in on your coaches, your immediate family members, and that's it. Okay? That's it. You block everything else out. And that, that goes not just for Matthew, but for everyone. And it seems Matthew understands that, which is a very good sign for us. Stafford and the Rams are seeking the franchise's first Super Bowl title in L.A. and also become the second team to win the Super Bowl in its home stadium. When they take on the Bengals February 13th, 3.30 Pacific Time at SoFi Stadium. 6.30 for me on the East Coast. They've gotten to the point in part by Stafford completing 72% of his passes for 905 yards with 6 touchdowns. And only one interception through the first 3 postseason games. His preparation over the next two weeks reflect that attitude toward game day itself. Diving into f- the film room to get th- to get to know the opponent as well as one possibly can, while also not making the moment bigger than it is. And Stafford is quoted here. My biggest thing is don't look at the calendar. Stafford said, just go out there and whatever day it is, just go out there and execute as best as you can. Perfect. 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 You got to practice tomorrow. I, I don't know if they do or not. I actually don't think they do. But if you have a practice, just go out there, execute what Sean tells you to do, what kind of drills you got to do. That's it. That's it. Don't sweat it, man. It's not a big deal. You like, I am loving what I'm hearing from him right now. This is exactly what I want to hear. And as a result, any potential distractions, it continues on here, such as ticket requests are out of sight and out of mind. 
as the organization does a great job ensuring that it's taken care of. That is pretty cool. That the organ that the Rams organization and very smart by the way, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Kevin Demoff and Les, that you guys handle the more kind of logistic family member stuff, the tickets and all that, uh, because our players need to focus on the game. Okay. All, all that crazy craziness with people wanting to go to the game, that's that that's great that you're chipping chipping in. It sounds like from what I'm seeing here and helping out with that because our players need to be zeroed in. They need to be locked in on the game, nothing else. And uh, Kel Miss, Mrs. Stafford, Kelly, uh, he credits his wife uh, for her efforts as well. And she has been helping Matthew a lot as well and well before next week even starts um guests taking care of all the all the ticket stuff getting everyone to the game all that jazz i suppose family members close friends things of that nature you know so and uh mrs stafford has been awesome too <laughs> this whole this whole season it's just been crazy just hearing how she bought a whole bunch of tickets for rams fans uh for the nfc championship game that was pretty awesome considering those ticks i mean you gotta lower the prices on those tickets man for sure if you want people to come out but that was cool of her to do that and she's helping matthew with all the kind of outside stuff going on in super bowl week so he can just lock himself in that's awesome that's awesome to hear uh continuing on while stafford understands all the buzz surrounding the game he tries to shelter himself from it as an example, the Rams held a jog through on Thursday, and Stafford said that's all he cared about at the moment. So it's not difficult for him to lock into the task at hand. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. And he's continued here. This is exactly what I want to hear. I'm not he's quoted here. I'm not immune to knowing there's a bunch of people excited for the game. Yep. I'm excited for the game about the game. We should be. We worked a lot of years and a lot of time to get where to where we are i'm enjoying that but at the same time i'm just focused on what on doing whatever we can to try and help beat the Bengals. boom perfect matthew perfect that's all that's all that's all you do man it's just focus at on the task at hand be singular focused on this game everyone on the team sean the other coaches at you know, Kevin got hired at Minnesota. Congratulations to Kevin. But you have a job to do, Kevin. Lock, you know, lock yourself in. Get focused on this game. I know you will. And congratulations. But the Viking, all that can wait. All that can wait till after this week. If it were up to me, I'm like, you guys need to wait. Okay? You guys need to wait one more week. The whole purpose of the season, the whole purpose of putting in all those hours is to get to the big game to the Super Bowl and now that you're here you really need to be dialed in to do all you can to win the game so all that distractions all the the, the hiring and the the interviews that that all needs that all needs to take a back seat I'm sorry that all needs to just they they just need to wait they just need to wait okay and but I, you know, I know uh, Raheem and Kevin have been interviewed already by a, a few people. Kevin got hired. Congratulations! But everyone needs to be fo really locked in. I trust that this. I, I'm trusting this team because I'm reading that the Bengals are locked. The Bengals are locked in right now. So we really need to make sure that we're getting our work in. Okay, we need to get our work in. And Sean understands that. And why it's a big game for Stafford with it being his first Super Bowl. But Stafford has also been part of several big games throughout his career. And um, he's able to separate the magnitude of the game from going out and just playing the game. And uh, McVay, Sean here, is quoted. I think he's at his best when he's enjoying the moment. Playing cool, calm, and collected. Being that great competitor and bringing people with him. McVay said on Thursday. And that's exactly what he'll do. Hell yes. Hell yes. There's Matthew, man. What's up, Matthew? I am loving what I'm hearing. 
continue to take a day at a time, Matthew. You already know this. You're doing a great job. I have faith. This is this is this is gonna be fun. Don't forget to have fun, Matthew. Right? Just go out there, have fun. You'll do fine. Okay? You'll do fine. That's gonna be it for now, guys. I will catch you guys on the next one. And as always, go Rams.